Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 101 Sandwiches of 1901, we're going to be making the Eccles Sandwich. Now I looked into that name a little bit and the only thing I can figure is it's inspired by the Eccles Cake out of Manchester, but that's made with currants and this is made with something else. In fact, uh, to make this, we need to go back in time two weeks. Barry? Thanks, future me. Uh, the reason why we're traveling back in time to today, two weeks prior, is because I got to make uh, maraschino cherries. And you might say, bro, they sell them at the store, just go get some. Here's the deal. Maraschino cherry first showed up in northern Italy, Yugoslavia area around 1820s. They basically would brine the cherries and then soak them in liqueur, cherry liqueur, to preserve them so they could have them year-round. They finally made their way to the United States around the 1860s and they were wildly popular, but it wasn't until around 1920s that the U.S. manufacturers started packing them in syrup. And the reason they did that is because when cherries are brined and packed in alcohol, they tend to get smaller and harder and they don't have their plump appearance and the American producers wanted that. Um, so, originally I was going to make cherry liqueur, but that takes about six months. Uh, and by then, cherries are out of season, so I can't really put the cherries in the cherry liqueur when they're not in season. So, what I'm going to do today is make maraschino cherries with maraschino liqueur that I bought. Uh, but first, got to get some cherries. Uh, we're about an hour south of San Jose. Uh, fun fact, Silicon Valley used to be covered in fruit orchards before all the dot-com business and uh, silicon chip business and uh, we're gonna go pick some cherries all right harvest complete okay with our cherries secured it's time to pit them you'll notice i'm wearing an apron that's because i do not want to ruin my shirt and uh yeah we had a cherry pitter at one point but we broke it so now i gotta do it by hand now ordinarily the cherries are brined and then they're preserved in alcohol um i'm just gonna go straight from cherries to alcohol and let them sit for two weeks okay we're back in modern times with our chopped up maraschino cherries and it says nut meats, chopped nut meats. I'm gonna go with almonds, didn't specify. Get that mixed together. And then put that between two slices of white bread. Okay, let's give this Eccles sandwich a go. It's a sweet little sandwich. And cherries and almonds go together really well. I'm a little surprised it didn't call for a binder or buttering the bread, but in 1901 recipes weren't exactly science. That's it, I'm gonna post it up a little bit. I'm gonna shave a little dark chocolate on it. Okay, let's give this plussed up Eccles sandwich a go. Mm, 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 mm. Chocolate, cherries, and almonds. This is ridiculous. The only thing this needs is maybe a little clotted cream or some sort of heavy, thick dairy to kind of bind it all together, but this is still delicious. Clearly this is meant as some sort of a snack or dessert. It's not a sandwich sandwich, so when I give this rating, don't think of Bon Me and how it compares to that because they're totally different categories for me. The original Echo sandwich is pretty good. I'm going to give that a six. With the chocolate shavings, I'm going to give that an eight. That is definitely tasty. And if I put clotted cream on there, that might break that up to a probably a ten in the dessert category. But alas, I have no clotted cream. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh.